Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Tronithin, channel like Tronithin, so you don't have to. In today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to simply change the battery on the Casio MW240, which has a module number of 1330, and then what we're going to do is just quickly show you how to set the time on this watch, which is super simple to do via this uh, crown that you've got towards the right of the watch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the four screws that are keeping the, ca the stainless steel case back on and then what I'm going to do is take the battery out and put a new one in and then put the screws back on and then set the time. So to change the take the screws off as you can see these are what would be uh, posi drive screws from what I can see. I mean you can probably use flathead screws but I have just off camera just before I start recording this I have tried using this here but I just found it a little bit fiddly so what I've done I've got a um, what, uh, like a thin screw uh, Phillips screw head here or screwdriver head here and I'm just going to take them off by using it now what I'm going to try and do so I'm going to try and be careful not to round the screw or anything like that because obviously it would be uh, bad times if that happens so I'm just going to take it off very simply like this and just make sure that I don't make sure they don't drop out because they are very hard to find. Trust me, I've, I've done this a few times changing uh, batteries on watches and I have managed to lose the screws on a couple of watches and they are a bit of a nightmare to get back. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably pop them in a little container as such so I don't lose uh, the screws because as I say they are quite hard to find. Um, so what I'm going to do is use the screwdriver, I mean obviously this is a screwdriver set that I got from what is known as B&M here in the UK um, and I'm just going to pop it in the, the screws in the, the plastic part of the case so I know I don't lose them. So I'm just going to just move it over just so you can see it here, so just take it off so it falls into there naturally so I don't lose them. One's dropped off there, I'll probably just do that one, uh, sorry just that one here, just loosen that off. I'll just zoom, just come in a little. Now this is probably better attempted on a flat surface, but I'm just for, so to help you understand what you need to do, uh, then I'm just having to do it nearer the camera. Now just be aware, I'm not a jeweler, I'm not a watch repairer, I'm not a qualified watch repairer, so if you're still unsure about how to do it, then please go and visit one of them, your, your nearest watch jeweler, or sorry, watch repairer, and then obviously they will do it for you, but I, I'm just gonna do it myself, because I have changed a few of them in the past. So what I'm gonna do is get a pair of plastic tweezers, which was part of a watch repair kit that I've uh, linked to below. Um, obviously it's a cheap one, so you, you get what you pay for, uh, just to manage to lever that off as you can see that's it there and the rubber gasket I believe is there which I mean obviously it's a little bit dirty so I'm just gonna clean that up just to get rid of all the rubbish and um, just be aware that obviously the gasket that's here will stop any water coming from water coming in so that will allow you to you know it'll give you your water resistance which is up to 50 meters or five bar on this watch but just to, so you can see what it is, it's a button cell AG1, but I believe it is an SR626SW, which I have here. Um, that, will, that will power this watch as well. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to quickly clean it up off camera, and then I'm going to change the battery here so you can see how they work. Now just to update you, what I've done, I've ma I managed to clean just a little bit around the outside, so I get some of the dirt off there, and I've done that by removing that gasket, but just make sure you pop that gasket back on, and obviously get, just check it over, make sure you're happy that it's okay, There's, it's not deteriorated in any way, because obviously, as I said, this will uh, stop the water from going in once the case back is on, so as you can see the gasket's there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the battery off by just pressing this lever here, or tab, and that battery should pop out, let me just see if I can... There you go, it's as easily done as that. And then I'm just gonna get hold of the battery there. And then what I'm gonna do off camera, I'm just gonna quickly open this and then get the battery back in. So as you can see, I've just quickly done that off camera. And I'm just gonna get that battery on without getting them mixed up. So I'm gonna pop that in the in the tray, just so again, I know it's the old battery there. And I'm just gonna pop this new one in to here, which should be easily done. Well, hopefully easily done it should be I just quickly popped it out so there you go and as you can see that's the battery in now I'm just gonna hold the gasket in place just so I don't lose it and there you go ladies and gentlemen that's the time now operating so you can see the second hand sweeping around the uh, the dial so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the uh, case back on 
and then make sure um, that the date and uh, sorry the time is correct to what it is locally to me so popping the case back on make sure you've got it the gasket in place so it's not poking out or uh, removed in any way and then pop the um, case back on so make sure you've got the holes lined up with the holes uh, that for the screw and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the screw in the first screw in so again I'm, I'm, I'm just using my fingernails but it is not easy uh, trying to do it on camera but just to give you an idea and then just pop the screw in sorry I'm just trying to do it with the camera so just get the first screw in and just just do it loosely because obviously you're going to do them all together um, I'm going to get the next screw in they're quite hard to get hold of make sure you get it a little bit in the hole so you don't lose it and just uh, get it so it's just a little bit down I mean again you can just go ahead and do what you want really it's up to you but I'm ju I just do it this way so I know that the the tightness is even throughout the case back of the watch There you go, and then one more. Oh, nearly dropped that. And just use this uh, screwdriver again, just to get it so it's aligned with the head, the screw head, and obviously make sure in, making sure I don't round the screw with the the screwdriver head. And as you can see, I've got them in there. And all I'm going to just do is quickly just tighten them so they're nice and snug. There you go. That one's done. Just do the opposite one. I mean, again, you don't have to follow what I do, but as I said, I'm not qualified, but I just try and do it so they're equal in for terms of tightness. Yeah, that feels tight. And there you go. That's it. Screw backs on. And all I've got to do now is just amend the time that the Casio, this Casio M, MW240, I believe, just to check, MW240 is featuring, so I'll just get my watch here, which is a Casio GA2110ET, and currently it is showing as what will be 12.28pm, so just quickly get it to that, so what you do, you just pull the crown out once, and you can hit, feel a click, and just 12.28pm, and just move it around, and as you can see, it's now 1227 28 PM. and that's it and that's how to change the battery on the Casio MW240 and set the time so I hope this video has helped and if it has then please give it a thumbs up it always helps the channel if you want to see any more videos from the We Try Anything channel uh, with Casios and stuff like that and tutorials and reviews then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video I hope it's helped and I look forward to seeing you next time goodbye